Good morning all. More than once I've been asked to express my opinion on what the bishop said. <laughs> well, there's a joke in there somewhere and it's got something to do with actresses, I think. The church and sex, ooh, we won't go there. And as you know, I often get chapter and verse from well-meaning religious folk. So now it's my turn on the podium. When did actresses suddenly become actors? But I digress already. Okay, here's the thing. The bishop said that Catholics should stop practicing Reiki a healing therapy that is used in some Catholic hospitals and retreat centres and which was enthusiastically adopted by many nuns. <laughs> the bishop said Reiki is both unscientific and non-Christian, which probably means it works too well for their liking. <laughs> so here's my opinion on the matter. And it's just a plain and simple. So what? To me, the bishop's opinions <laughs> just amount to more control of you. Someone else telling you again that you can't do what you already know you can do, scientifically proven or not. How stupid is that? And if the church is trying to con control their flock, you, by denying you the freedom of expression of one of the most basic of human abilities, then it would appear their motives are most certainly coming out of fear. Maybe they're afraid you might just realise how independently powerful you already are. <laughs> Maybe they, they're afraid you might just realise you don't actually need them anymore. Ever heard of spiritual growth? <laughs> Let he who is without ulterior motives cast the first aspersions. There is only one energy, you. A martial artist uses this energy to bash you harder. A yoga teacher uses it to bend in the middle. A child uses it to run rings around you. A rabbit uses it to hop higher. Yuri Geller uses it to bend spoons. Oh, just a minute. There is no spoon. <laughs> when you understand that this one energy is yours and you can do what you like with it, it'll make you more of who you are. And if you then discover you're a person who wishes to share your energy to support and promote a healthy outcome in the lives of others, then I'm all for it. And quite frankly, there's not a thing anyone else can do to stop you. Wonderful. Be aware of and wary of anything disempowering you. We're creatures who respond to the touch of each other, so they dissuade you from doing so. We're sociable and gregarious, so they like to monitor that. <laughs> Sex is a natural joy and pleasure to us, so they regulate and degrade that. And how is it that violence in films and the TV news are okay, but a love scene carries a warning? It would seem that channeling our natural aggression into the art form of war is just about the only thing they'll still allow us to do. <laughs> Ask your bishop about religious warmongering. <laughs> but that's another story and not one for now. So I'll simply say, assert yourself. Honour, respect and love yourself. You are the power in your life and believe it or not, 
You don't need to allow the bishops or anyone else to pass judgment on you. Be responsible for your own actions, your own choices and your own decisions. You have this incredible power, this incredible energy, this monumental untapped talent right at your fingertips, literally and symbolically. The question is not what are the bishops going to do about it, but what are you going to do about it? Now you know. Alleluia and amen to that. <laughs> Have a fabulous weekend.